जय श्री माता जी उपस्थित सभी साधकों का हम स्वागत करते हैं सामूहिक ध्यान की शुरुआत हम सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेकर करेंगे सामूहिकता में तीन महामंत्र और उसके बाद श्री गणेश मंत्र का पठन करेंगे
परम पूज्य श्री माता जी कृपावंत होकर हमें निर्विचार अवस्था प्रदान कीजिए इसी निर्विचार अवस्था में हम श्री माता जी की अमृतवाणी को ग्रहण करेंगे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अर्शिप द देवी वी कॉल हर अम्बा एंड बाय मेनी अदर नेम्स she is the last we should say the residual power when she has done everything she becomes the kundalini lily and settles in the triangular bone of yours this is the muladhara chakra but actually she is expressed more on the left side because that time she is purely the amba this left side is a very very important thing for all the human beings. if you have no left side you cannot balance yourself to begin with and it is said that she gives you a real personality of a sajogi that is your left side if it is weak 
then you have to worship her and request her that please enrich our right, left side. By enriching your left side, what she does, she's a comforter. So what does she give you? First of all, she makes you rest. Said that she makes you rest. That is, she makes you sleep. If you are too much thinking about future and you are so much indulging into the futuristic planning, you have some problems. But the best thing is if you can sleep, then it's a great comfort. It's a very great comfort to you that you can sleep and that you can take some rest. Without her, you cannot sleep. Absence of her, you cannot sleep. So sleeping is a very important function of the body which is brought forth by the left side. That's why we worship her, because she should give us rest. She's the one who gives you peace. She's the one who gives you also illusions called as Branti. She gives you all the artistic talents. She protects you. But this part that is she is creating illusions for you. That's very, very important because those people who are against divine, who are trying to be away from the reality, she creates illusions for them. So she separates you from those people. While you know the reality and all such people who are <coughs> troubling or trying to destroy her work, she is the one who creates illusions. She is the one who recites as the Kundalini. So we can say that part of her is the Kundalini, but another part that she has is the one which resides in the left side. Now there are seven levels which she resides. Once you start enjoying her, on the first level, then she has all these qualities described to you. That she is peace, she is the one who gives you love, she is the one who creates all the beautiful things for you. She is the mother. And what she expects you is to enjoy her protection, enjoy her love and be always under her complete protection. So this is a very important part of her work. And the second one is that she is the Kundalini. So she also acts on seven levels. 
seven levels she moves, we can say horizontally, and seven levels she moves upward. And all these seven levels on both the sides, she does tremendous work for us. How she protects us through these seven levels is like this, that even you start going towards the left side, there are seven deities which try to throw you back into normalcy. They are Shankini, Dakini, these are the names. And by that, you try to come to normal conditions. Now, for example, many psychosomatic diseases which come to us, which like cancer and so many others. Psychosomatic means it is physical as well as it is emotional. So these psychosomatic troubles start coming from the left side. Sometimes you are too much on the right side. Then suddenly you are thrown to the left side, suddenly. And then the movement, like a pendulum, you can go any far. But there are seven powers on the left-hand side which protect you from getting into these diseases. Also, reducing their intensity. So, at one time, she's the one who is peace-giving, she's the one who looks after you, protects you, and she's the one who saves you from psychosomatic diseases. It's a very powerful entity. If she was not there, I don't know what would have happened. So we should worship her within ourselves. We should respect her and understand her. She is your mother. As Kundalini, she is your particular mother. She is the one, Amba, who gives you your second birth. And as the left side, Goddess, she gives you a very good support in your ascent, very good support in her ascent. Without her, you could not balance yourself. This goes too far sometimes when people are too much on the right side. Then they get diseases which are very funny. They can get heart attack, they can get paralysis. They also get the right side completely paralyzed. They can't walk, they can't lift themselves. This is too much of right side movement. So then she's the one who makes you feel bad about it. She's the one who suggests that you give up your right side and take to more to the left side. So that doesn't mean that right side, if it's cured by the left side, is very good. For example, a person who is very arrogant, egoistical, <coughs> such a man may become absolutely docile and people might think he's cured. No. He is on the left side. Though he has become docile, still he is not normal. 
still he is very much wrong because he is on the left side. On the left side, one starts getting many diseases like schizophrenia. In the upper level of this, this side, these same seven centers act to give you very serious troubles. One of them is that people become schizophrenic. It can be cured. It can be cured if you can move that person to the center. And by Kundalini awakening, you can do it. Then people also become mad, lunatic. But all the troubles of the right side disappear. Such people who have moved to the left side won't have liver problems. They might have enlarged liver, but overactive liver they won't have. They won't have other symptoms like asthma, heart attack. They cannot have heart attack. They'll give heart attacks to others, but they themselves don't get heart attacks. So this <laughs> sudden movement of your attention into the left side is all the time guarded by these seven entities or goddesses who look after you, but still if you go on with it. For example, you go to the false gurus, then what do the false gurus do? They put you to you, your left side. They'll give you one name, some name, could be the name of a servant or anyone whom they have captured and whom they are looking after as a kind of a possession for others. This is tantrika. They people possess the spirits of these dead people and use them to entice you. So when you start getting into the left side, by any means. You can get it by worrying too much, uh, you can get it by feeling very sorry for something, or crying, weeping, anything. Then your right side problems disappear. That's why you do it. But it goes too far. The right side problems are if they are cured. So you get the left side problems which are much more dangerous. I told you all kinds of psychosomatic diseases. I don't want to give the list to frighten you, but they all come from the left side. Now they, <coughs> because the right side is sort of is completely cured as they say, People think that it's a very good idea to get possessed by some spirit. So these false gurus, what they do? They master these dead spirits. How? I mean, they know how to do it. I need not tell you because you're not going to do it. And they master it and they tell you that you take this name. You start taking the name of some sort of a God knows what. They don't tell that you take the name of any incarnation, but they'll tell you take the name of Ram. Ram's name is not taken as that. It has to be Sri Ram, Sri Krishna, Sri Mataji. So they never put Sri. They just tell you take these names and by these names, what happens? That you go to the left side because these dead spirits, they capture you. There are dead spirits on the left side and there are dead spirits on the right side. If they are on the right side, they are very ambitious people. And they try to capture you. 
It's a very frightening explanation of the whole thing. Once they capture you, if you go to the right side, you get all right side qualities. You are not normal. Sometimes you feel you are uh, going uh, in the air somewhere, you, know, you have seen some things which you would normally not see. Like uh, two Americans came to see me and they were journalists. So I, I asked him, uh, how, why are you here? They said, Mother, you make us like Harish Chandra. There was one fellow called Harish Chandra who was a journalist. I said, like him, like him, because he used to travel in the air and he used to get news, like he would uh, tell about what is happening in some part. <coughs> some part of uh, Bombay, like we have a Juhu beach. So one day in the newspaper, it came out what happened at Juhu beach. And uh, his name was there. The one who is the correspondent was Mr. Harish Chand. So how did Harish Chandra tell you my name? I cured him. Why, you want to get into his trouble? So we want to have this astral travel, Americans. For what? Because we are journalists and we know so much about everything, we want to travel all over. I said, this I don't do. If you are doing astral travel, of course I can reduce it. So all these gurus had mastered also this art of astral travel, controlling some dead spirits who were right-sided. So right-sided <coughs> spirits are very ambitious and they do all kinds of healings and all kinds of predictions because they are futuristic. Sometimes they know, sometimes they don't know. But it's all coming from a wrong source. So <coughs> getting into that trap is not a very good thing. If somebody is possessed like that, then such a person starts doing all kinds of wrong things. Like it will try to grab your house, to grab your money, to deceive you, run away with your wife, all kinds of things which are absolutely wrong. Because the influence of the right side increases very much. Also there are some drugs when you take them, like LSD and all that you go to the right side and then you start seeing colors and people think it's a very great thing to see colors because normally you don't see colors. They don't know basically what's wrong with them. The basically wrong with them is that there is a booth, there is some sort of a ghost which is very right-sided, has gone into their being and trying to work it out. But the left side boots are different type. They are sly and they teach you peevish things. They may also try to <coughs> entice you to such an extent that a person can tell lies to any limit. He tells lies, then he tries to secretly take away your money take away whatever you have, 
All kinds of planning, secretive takes place. Nothing is open. And you do it without even understanding. But all these people are more interested in achieving some sort of a very material advancement, whether it is on the right side or the left side. Many things happen like fundamentalism. If you are a fundamentalist, then these booths take over and they try to overpower. They try to teach you how to kill people who do not belong to your religion or to your side. They give ideas and they fight and they quarrel and they kill. But the Mother Earth or the sea, anything, any one of these elements can work out the destruction. In such places you will find big earthquakes taking place and destroying them. Or there could be a hurricane that will come and destroy them. Of course some innocent people are also killed with that. It could be anything that you do wrong, it is begin, corrected by all these five elements. In India, we had a place called as Latur, where people used to drink and drink and drink. Once they went for drinking, when they had immersed the statue of Sri Ganesha, that we do on the, we put it in the sea after three days, maybe seven days or ten days. And they came back from there and they had gone for drinking after that and they were completely drunk and still they were singing the praise of Sri Ganesh and singing all kinds of filthy things, unholy things, dirty things, we can call them, or lots of abuses they were using. Fulfilling that desire to be nasty, to be bad, and suddenly earthquake came. They were all dancing, they all went inside the Mother Earth, and we are finished. We had a center there, surprisingly. That center was not touched. About hundred yards away, there was a round circle created. So nobody could go out. And they were amazed, how is it that this center has not been touched at all? That's the power of the Goddess. At the same time, when she sees these negative people are coming to torture or to trouble, it's the Goddess who saves the right type of people. As you know, normally always if there's one good person, there will be a hundred bad people getting after. And that person feels so lost, but then the Goddess helps that man and saves that one or that human being from the troubles from the negative force. So this mother of yours fights all, the, all kinds of negative forces. They can be as I told you, drunkards who drink. So she starts destroying. At a lower level, she'll destroy their liver. <laughs> At a even greater level, she'll destroy their family, she'll destroy their money. I've not heard of anywhere a statue erected of a drunkard, never. Nowhere, where drinking is a fashion, 
where drinking is a daily worship in a way, but I have never seen anywhere. How is it that nobody erected any statue of a man who was drunk? Would be nice to show that, but no. Because the wisdom prevails and people understand what is the destructive force. So, <clears throat> one can get possessed by any such idea. See, like Hitler, he got the idea that he is the monarch of everything and he has every right to destroy the Jews. And he was destroying, he destroyed so many people. But what happened at the end? He was using swastika which was the symbol of Sri Ganesh. And with that he was fighting. But luckily it so happened that the mother entered into his mind. By that he lost Bhranti, illusion. He lost the power of Ganesha, how to use it. And he was using stencil. <coughs> and because of the stencil, the second, I should say, printing of swastika was the other way round, which for, for destruction. So he printed the other kind of swastika. As a result, he got destroyed. So this is the Bhranti part, that she enters into your mind and puts you into a Bhranti means into an illusion. You commit mistakes. If it had not happened, so many people would have been finished by now. So she enters into the mind of such people who are trying to destroy human beings, who are trying to destroy anything, and puts ideas in such a manner that they die or they get self-destruction. That's why it is written that she is a Bhranti within us. She creates such an illusion within us that, that a person who tries to be harmful, to be troublesome, to be destructive, gets destroyed. All kinds of things she can put. And that's how so many people have survived in this world, otherwise so many would have been finished and there would have been the kingdom of the Satan. But it's this goddess is the one who saves us. Symbolically, they have said that she has killed so many demons. Actually, she has. It's not that she has killed them in a symbolic way. They were demons and demons. Even today we have demonic people. And all of them will not only be killed, but will be finished forever. I've seen in Russia, I've seen in many countries, those people once upon a time were regarded as gods, as finished. It happens in every country. Wherever there are wrong type of people, they are exposed and people don't even want to look at their photographs. They have thrown away their statues. All this happens because this Goddess is the one who creates an illusion for people. Now supposing there is a person who is very demonic, who is going to destroy everyone. Then the people who are wise will understand, but those who are not will take to her and get destroyed with him. Like this, thousands of people have been destroyed because they didn't see the right point. They couldn't understand what is right, what is wrong. So this idea of right and wrong also is completely confused by her so that those who are wrong type can be destroyed. 
We don't want them on this earth. Those who are troublesome, who are destructive, who are argumentative, will be all destroyed. But by themselves only they'll destroy. It's not necessary for the Goddess to do that. So this is the one which many people ask me why it is said that Bhranti Rupena Sanchita, why does she exist as an illusion? This is the reason that your discriminating power is challenged. But if you are a Sajogi, real Sajogi, then you can feel on your fingertips if the person whom you are following is a good man or a bad man. And then you can tell others also that don't. So many seekers are destroyed like that. Wrong type of gurus came and they just followed them. Stupid they were, absolutely stupid gurus. And these were stupid people. I don't know why they followed them. It was so obvious that they were just after some sort of a Rolls Royce or something. And uh, I, I have seen them so mad that they can't get out of it. Uh, there are people now who are following all kinds of wrong gurus. One of them is now very much liked by the Indians all over when they are abroad, not in India. So, so they follow that Babaji, all right. And uh, this Babaji is the one, he takes money, he steals money, he steals ornament, he does all kinds of things, but they don't mind. Whatever he's doing is all right. And this Babaji is the one, is to be destroyed. But the advantage of having this Babaji is this, that you have all kinds of stupid people on this world. So, they have no discrimination and they fall a prey to these Babajis, finished. They'll get heart attacks, they'll become blind, they'll get cancer, they'll get all kinds of troubles and that is right. But it's su surprising human beings are such that they see a person being destroyed by a Babaji or some Guruji, lady, and still one is killed, then this also goes forward. It is something surprising that human beings don't see that the person is destroyed. Like I have told you many a times as people who are going to the pub, they see from the pub people coming out and falling on the ground. And they queue up to go inside again to come back and fall. It's very surprising, isn't it? They have no brains. Why do they want to go to a pub if they have seen already somebody falling down? But they do it. It is now, this is the last judgment, as I told you. And at this time, you have to see what's happening to the person who has gone by wrong methods or by the help of some these Gurujis. It's very clear, if you want to see it, very clear, how they are destroying themselves. In any case, they say, in any case we have to die, so why not go to the pub? I mean, what? This kind of argument they give, so stupid, as if they have no brains, no intelligence to understand a person has gone and he came back from there, he's fallen on the ground and uh, nobody to pick him up and they are doing it. And they say that Christ did it. He, he gave wine to people. No, no, he cannot. He's perfect. He didn't give wine. He gave them just an ordinary juice of the grapes. How can you make wine in one second, can you? But that's how they explain. All their bad things are explained by their stupid intelligence and they go for destruction. And now in Kali Yuga,
destruction is working very fast. Why? Because people have lost their discrimination. They are no more discreet. And so many people have lost, it's not few, and it is a fashion to become indiscreet. I said, why are they doing like this? Mother, this is a fashion. Any stupid thing is a fashion. Now you take to that stupid thing and then you are in trouble. Nowadays, of course, there's a fashion that women, especially in America, have seen. They want to wear just straps uh, over their frocks, whatever you may call it. Just straps and both the chakras are left open. They are very important chakras, should not even wear sleeveless, they should be always covered. All other chakras we cover except for Agya, which we also cover with a kumkum. By that, how many diseases can come? You can get sinus, start from sinus, you can get eye trouble, you can get paralysis of both the heads, you can get also Parkinson's. All sorts of diseases can come because these are two very important chakras. One is the Shri chakra, which is on the right side, and another is the Lalita chakra on the left side. You should never, never expose these chakras, also the knees. But this is a fashion nowadays to show the knees. I don't know. I can't understand the logic behind it. What is in the knees? Why people want to see the knees of people? I mean, I just don't understand. This is less no logic, <laughs> it's senseless. At first I never understood it, and now I've understood that they want to attract men. If men are attracted by your knees, what sort of men they must be? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand such men also. Men will be fully dressed, while women will expose their, both the nabis and both the chakras, which are so important. And that is the fashion. Tomorrow the fashion will start that you shave your head, so everybody will shave. As if it's like a flock of sheep who don't understand, they go by the collective happening. So there's a fashion which is actually collective and that's how it finishes off their sense completely. You see it every day and you don't understand. I've seen even Indian women who are abroad, they also try to copy the fashions and they also expose their both the chakras and then they get into troubles. It's very surprising. At least in India, it's not regarded as a good omen to see a woman like that. But when they have come abroad, they have learned this as a great knowledge how to expose your body. The other side of it could be even more serious. Like you cover your face. <laughs> Muhammad Sahib must have thought of the modern times. So he said, cover your face, cover your body, cover yourself completely so that you are safe as a woman and men are safe because they are not attracted. I mean, this is going to the extremes. And it was to be worked out that way. But it does not. I have seen also Muslim women are so stupid when they are facing their husbands, the way they behave to attract the husbands and the way the husbands try to dominate is a bit too much. So, this is the bhranti the bhranti created by the mother, the amba, she creates this bhranti. And with this bhranti I've seen, people can go amak and they don't know they are going amak because all of them are going that side. So what? Like uh, there's a story <laughs> about father told his son that whichever way people go, you must follow them. So he saw many people going, he, he followed them. Where does he go? To a funeral. That doesn't mean don't, don't use 
your brains. This is said, of course. Also, you will see what they do is this that, uh, say, many people are going, say, to something wrong. They have no brains of their own, no individuality, nothing. They just follow it. They don't see what they have achieved, what have they got, what is the use, nothing. Even when you buy something, you want to find out what is the quality, the person who has purchased, how is he using, everything you want to find out. But when it comes to following a fashion, nobody thinks about it. And a fashion is created to befool people also, I think so. It is uh, something uh, very funny, uh, creation of the evil force, so that human beings should be destroyed. It is, uh, they say, the designers, I say it's nothing designers or anything, but is there aggressive force, the negative force which works on you and who saves you is the mother on the left side. She has got seven curtains, seven boundaries. She doesn't want you to cross over, but human beings say, why not, why not me? If they have gone to hell, I'll also go to hell, all right? That's being made already for you, so go ahead. So that's why she creates the bhranti, because some people have to go out, out of this circulation, out of this evolution process. Let them go out. This is the last judgment, all right. That's how you'll be judged. By your own stupidity, you'll be judged. I have told so many Sajogis, something small, that you must put some oil in the night, morning time, you wash. But they don't do it. But by doing that, what happens is that you soothe yourself, you sleep well. Oiling is a very good thing. We need it, all of us. Especially in this cold weather, we need it, but they won't put. They neglect themselves because they think they are Sajogis, they are protected, Mother can oil them. It's not so. You have to look after yourself. As far as your body is concerned, your mind is concerned, You are responsible for your body. With Sahaja Yoga you will understand what's wrong with you, what you are doing wrong. I mean, I tell you some things which are very important, but to you may not be, but you should try that. As it is, you are realized souls, your spirit is there, you can feel the vibrations and you can understand what's wrong with the person. Mostly what I've seen, now it's much less, that people only informed me always about people who are possessed. Mother, such and such person is possessed. Mother, this person has got this possession. Yeah, I said, but <laughs> throw them out, that's all. Why do you want me to bother about them? Just throw them out. Then after going out of Sahaja Yoga, they will realize, ah, then they will say, Mother, we don't want to go out of Sahaja Yoga. Why? Because they know that now they are completely away from reality and from safety. So they want to come back. Those who can come back, can come back. But those who should not come back, should never come back because they are so mad that they'll create a fashion of madness. A people can get influenced by that. So to get influenced by others is not a sign of a Sahaja Yoga. He can influence others, 
But how does he get influenced by other? But for Sahaja Yoga. Sahaja Yoga is just the discriminating power. And who has given you this? It's a Kundalini. So this Kundalini, which is your mother, the one which is now in your triangular bone, also gives you all the qualities and all the beauties of your being. Now, of course, I've told you so many things about Kundalini that I need not tell you. <coughs> but she also can correct the left side. Some people have a habit of all the time crying and weeping over, I don't know. You, every time you meet them, they are in tears. But what has happened? Mother, this has happened, that has happened, and all that. They write letters after letters to me, telling about their woes, their troubles, and this and that. Baba, you are Sahaja Yogis now. Now you are in the Garden of Eden, you are in the heavens. Now why are you thinking about all the hellish things which are not important? Why? Because you haven't got your individuality as yet. Now, as Sahaja Yogi, <coughs> you have to develop your discrimination of understanding what others are, also about yourself. Why do you hanker after things? Try to understand. What is so great about it? Why do you want to do it? Question yourself. Is it some position? Is it some fashion or is it your individual feeling? So I'm trying to tell you that this left side of yours is so protective. At the same time, same time if you are very aggressive about your left side, you are thrown from one to another to another and into hell. and then you suffer. So you must understand, your wisdom should be there, which you can develop very much with the help of the left side. Wisdom can be very well developed. Now there's somebody, say, a Sahaja Yogi, so-called, and he is absolutely aggressive, money-oriented, deceitful, and you get into his trap. In Hindi we call it chakkar, in that chakkar. And once you get involved into that, you go on drifting, still your left side will protect, up to a point. But if you are too much of it, it throws you, go, get out, get out. Now the time has come for all of us to understand that you are all Sajogis and you have a very big responsibility, very, very big responsibility that you should do what your enlightened conscience tells you. Take to your enlightenment and live under that light and don't jump in the darkness. And by that you will also understand who is the right person, who is not the right person. It's a, even in Sahaja Yoga this negativity can work. It works. And one should not get involved into any negative thoughts of others or negative doing of others. It's a warning today I wanted to give you all, because you people are very much 
there to enjoy. Look after your attention, where does it go? There are so many beautiful things. See the flowers, so beautiful. See these things they have made so beautiful. It makes my heart jump with joy. While some people don't even notice. The other day I asked somebody who had made that flower ornament, which flower? I said, the one that was there. Which one? So I told the names of the flowers. We never saw. Where were you looking? But that you couldn't see the flowers. Because your eyes are so stupid that they cannot see the beauty. They are engulfed with all kinds of negative things. So the Goddess has to kill all the Rakshasas. I don't know how many she has killed and again they are back and again people are being trapped. This is going on. So these Rakshasas are there and you have to pinpoint them and tell people, where are you going? He's a Rakshas. What he has done? What has he achieved? Now you should talk like that. Open. So you can save many people who are going to these Rakshasas, who are coming in uh, such clothes that you cannot make them out. They will be destroyed one by one. But when they are in the heart, of so many people, how can we destroy them? So it is for you people to tell them what these Rakshasas are doing. I know their tricks, but the worst part is that the human beings fall into their tricks. So you have to be very self-understand. Ask always the question, why? Why am I attracted to this? What is the gain? Ask yourself this question. You will find that after coming to Sahaja Yoga you have gained so much. So now why have this false idea? Why go after false things, negative things? That's what Sahaja Yogis have to do. Because not that they are responsible for others, they are responsible for themselves also. Now the sweetest thing said about her is that she gives you the Shraddha. Shraddha, we can translate it as faith. To have faith rightly, not wrongly. People take full advantage if you have wrong faiths. But faith is very important, that she gives also. And that's very joy-giving. The faith is very joy-giving. But when the incarnations lived, nobody believed in them. They had no faith in them. Christ they crucified, Nobody stood up to say, why are you crucifying Him? All of them, nobody could have that faith to stand up. They may fight for their own country, they may fight for their religion or all nonsense, but that a man, this man is really the Truth, he is the one who is an incarnation, nobody will see. So yesterday I was stunned to see the drama they have shown. I mean, I couldn't face myself, I should say. Though it's the truth, of course I agree, but I couldn't face myself. I'm too humble to accept such a thing. And it's very ingenious, it's very really great to create such a drama. And of all the things, at first I had said that the English have such a sense of 
drama, they had people like Shakespeare and all that, and the way they were producing dramas, I couldn't understand. But this one was the last word on perfection, so much so that I couldn't say a word about it. I was just stunned. The truth that they have propounded. But in my lifetime, you will have no doubts if you have some sense in it, because so many miracles are taking place. Today only somebody told me he, somebody had cancer, uh, ulcer and all kinds of things. And after Sahaja Yoga she went to the hospital, she had nothing. All such miracles are taking place, leave alone. Also there are, never have happened like this, that there are photographs of mine where you see, it's remarkable. Even the scientists are surprised at it, how these photographs are coming. Actually there was Sri Ganesha standing behind it, actually, only in one camera it came. So just to you people to have faith, because when the person is not there, like Christ is no more, now everybody is going to church. Sri Rama is not there, so they are all singing His praise. Sri Krishna is not there, so they are Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. So when there is Sakshat, when that is before you, you don't accept. Because perhaps you don't believe you can deserve it, perhaps. Or maybe it is. I don't know human beings, you know, very difficult to understand them. When you are standing before them, they don't believe. When you are no more, then they will believe. It's a very funny thing, isn't it? All throughout, if you see the history of spirituality, this has been going on. And Jnanadeva showed some miracles, still. Only the wise, only the sensible could understand and believe it. And there are so few that as a result, such people are crucified, killed, or done. They have tried that with me, but you know, in this life, I have come in all forms and nobody can destroy me unless and until I want to finish myself. No one can. The powers are of love, affection, compassion, but also. There's a power which completely corrects other people. So, the, to you people not to have faith in Sahaja Yoga shows complete blankness. You have seen the photographs, you have seen everything, you have known the miracles, it has happened to you, you have the experience of Sahaja Yoga. Despite that, your faith is so weak, she is the one who gives you faith. So you have to praise her, you have to fall at her feet, you have to worship her and ask her, Oh Mother, give us that faith. And with this faith you'll be amazed. Any person who has this kind of a faith, he tells me, Mother, please do this. It happens, it just happens. Such right they have got to ask for anything, it works out. But first your faith should be solid, faith should be real. If it is real and if it is deep, you can achieve whatever you want, not wrong but good things. And so try to develop that faith and as a faith gives you such joy and happiness, you get committed, you get involved and don't want to get out of it. So the greatest thing, the blessing of the left side is the faith, faith which is pure. Faith can be translated as, uh, we can say, vishwas, 
but not. Faith is Shraddha. Shraddha means something that is within, which has no doubts, which has no doing as such, it's just there. So you should now develop faith about yourself and about Sahaja Yoga. If your faith is strong, you will see many miracles also. But with miracles, with everything, still if you don't understand, then it is your discretion. May God bless you. इसी अवस्था में हम कुछ समय निशब्द ध्यान में बैठते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सदैव सामूहिकता से जुड़े रहकर आपके श्री विराट और श्री विराटांगना स्वरूप के आशीर्वाद को प्राप्त करें हम सदैव निरानंद अवस्था को प्राप्त करें श्री माता जी आपके परम कृपा में अपने प्रकाशित ज्ञान से अनन्य भक्ति में उतर कर हम सहयोग का प्रत्येक कार्य करें और उस कार्य को करते समय हम अकर्म अवस्था को प्राप्त करें श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब प्रकाश बनकर इस विश्व का आध्यात्मिक उत्थान के मार्ग में मार्गदर्शन करें कृपावंत होकर हम सबको कुशल संभाषण दैवी कूटनीति प्रभावी व्यक्तिमत्व और विवेक प्रदान कीजिए श्री माता जी आज का यह सामूहिक ध्यान हम आपके श्री चरणों पर समर्पित करते हैं कृपावंत होकर हम सबको और इस विश्व को आशीर्वादित कीजिए परम पूज श्री माता जी को प्रणाम करेंगे और सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे
सत्र यहीं पर संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी